The Paris peace settlements of 1919 to 20 brought to a close the bitter divisions and seemingly endless conflict of World War 1. European participants in the war were devastated, exhausted and yearned for peace, stability and normality. And many of the European government and the United States retreated into isolationism, neutrality or pacifism. In the ruins of the Ottoman Empire, a nationalist revolution led by Mustafa Kemal abolished the Sultanate and the Caliphate and established a secular democratic republic of Turkey, the first Muslim country to separate religion from government. But for the Germans, the humiliation of all these provisions was compounded by the reparations payments which eventually were set at the equivalent of 33 billion dollars. The country simply could not make these payments and in the long run paid only a fraction of them. Finally the day came. Like a good murder mystery. No one had guessed how it would happen. Molotov and von Ribbentrop got together and the Nazis and communists signed a pact. Alarmed at the unchecked militarism of Nazi Germany, the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin bought some time by signing a non-aggression and friendship pact of his own with Hitler in August 1939. This agreement was public, but in a secret protocol, the Germans and Soviets agreed to divide Poland between them in the event of war and sanction Soviet influence in the Baltic states. One week after the signing of the Nazi-Soviet pact, The Germans invaded Poland with a massive army of over 1 million troops. Britain and France immediately declared war on Germany. For the second time in a generation, Europe was at war. By this time, Hitler's goals went beyond the recovery of German territory to the accusation of Lebensraum in Eastern Europe for his expanding master race, thus his interest in Poland. The German attack on Poland in September 1939 employed the new military tactics of blitzkrieg lightning warfare using massive amounts of manpower air power and armor so as to achieve rapid annihilation of the enemy Poland fell within a month and Hitler set about the occupation of the country meanwhile a Soviet Union invoking the secret protocol invaded and occupied eastern Poland the area that they had lost in the Polish Soviet war of 1919 and 20 in the spring of 1940 nazi troops invaded norway and denmark and launched another blitzkrieg across holland belgium and luxembourg and into france forcing a french surrender within 6 weeks with stunning speed and ease hitler took over most of europe We are in a very different position from that we were in 10 weeks ago. We are far stronger than we were 10 weeks ago. We are far better prepared to endure the worst malice of Hitler and his Huns than we were at the beginning of September. In the summer of 1940 England was the only country that remained at war with Germany. Winston Churchill had replaced Neville Chamberlain as prime minister, promising nothing but blood, toil, tears and sweat in an implacable war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark, lamentable catalog of human crime. Hitler launched an air campaign against Britain with bombing raids on London and other cities. as a prelude to a full-scale invasion but the british royal air force was able to prevent german supremacy in the air and with churchill's inspiration civilian morale held up in spite of the death destruction and privation unable to subdue britain hitler shifted his attention to his more important objective the soviet union which from the beginning he had intended to invade and occupy in spite of the 1939 non-aggression pact the military assault on the soviet union operation barbarossa 
was launched on June the 22nd, 1941, with 3 million men along a 2,000 mile front. These people, lost their honesty and honesty, people with moral life, have a voice to invite the destruction of the great Russian nation. Немецкие захватчики хотят иметь истребительную войну с народом СССР. Что же, если немцы хотят иметь истребительную войну, они ее получат. Within a few months, German troops had encircled Leningrad and caught within 25 miles of Moscow. For the next three years, until the Allied invasion of the mainland of Italy in September 1943 and France in June 1944, a struggle between Germany and the Soviet Union was the only real fighting in the European theater. December the 7th, 1941. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military strike by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service upon the United States, in which around 2,500 Americans lost their lives. The Japanese attack had several major aims. It intended to destroy important American fleet units, thereby preventing the Pacific fleet from interfering with Japanese conquest of the Dutch East Indies and Malay and to enable Japan to conquer Southeast Asia without interference. The day after the attack, Roosevelt delivered his famous infamous speech to a joint session of Congress, calling for a formal declaration of war on the Empire of Japan. On Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. In the winter of 1942 and 43, at the Battle of Stalingrad, a turning point victory came over the Germans. But a Soviet army lost more troops than the US lost in the whole of World War II in all theaters combined. After Stalingrad, the Soviets made steady gains pushing the Germans out of the Soviet republics of Ukraine and Belarusia, then advancing head on through Poland toward Berlin. At the same time, Soviet forces moved southwest into Romania, Bulgaria and Hungary, all of which were allied with Nazi Germany. Meanwhile, the June 1944 Normandy invasion landed 130,000 British, US and Canadian forces onto French beaches in one day and a million within the month. By March 1945, the Allied forces crossed the Rhine River into German territory and Soviet forces took Budapest and Vienna and soon occupied Berlin. If conspiracy theories are ignored, Hitler committed suicide and the German government surrendered in May 1945. The European war was over, although fighting still continued in the Pacific theater against Japan. In the final year of World War II, the Allies prepared for a very costly invasion of the Japanese mainland. The United States detonated two nuclear weapons over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki with the consent of the United Kingdom. On August the 6th, one of the modified B-29s dropped a uranium gun type bomb named Little Boy on Hiroshima, killing around 129,000 people. Another B-29 dropped a plutonium implosion bomb named Fat Man on Nagasaki three days later, killing around 226,000 people.
Japan surrendered to the Allies on August the 15th, six days after the Soviet Union's declaration of war and the bombing of Nagasaki. Tribunal. Judges from Britain, America, Russia and France assemble in Nuremberg's courthouse. At the Allied trials of Nazi leaders held at Nuremberg after the war, the policy of genocide was defined as a crime against humanity, thus re-establishing a sense of common values and morality. The end of the war also signaled a major geopolitical shift in both Europe and the world, with the emergence of the US and the Soviet Union as the dominant powers on the continent. As a result of the end of war military operations, the Soviet Union ended up occupying Eastern Germany, including East Berlin and most of Eastern Europe. US forces, having moved toward Germany from the south and the west, controlled Western Germany and most of Western Europe. It was as if these two geographically peripheral players had been sucked into the vacuum of Central Europe, created by the collapse of Germany and Italy. And where they met in the middle of Germany is where the Cold War began.